Uh, welcome everybody to a, another video on a tutorial. This time we're looking at peer review from a student's perspective within D2L Brightspace. Okay, so peer review is one of our, uh, the tool, the peer review tool is actually one of our two peer feedback tools. Uh, and in a separate video, I'll cover the group member evaluation tool. However, this time we're going to be covering um, students reviewing each other on a deliverable or in this case, deliverables. So first thing we'd wanna do from a student side is go full screen, read the instructions. In this case, it's a lab report. Uh, we have to submit both a video as well as a document on this uh, boiling heat transfer experiment. Um, and so two submissions are required. Now, first step is after reading that instructions is to hand in the actual assignment, then at which point we will have to be uh, assigning or reviewing uh, my peers basically in another group. So what we'll do is hop into the document first just to see how that would look. Now there is a rubric uh, that has been set up and uh, some of them are, here they are basically. So there's three different, uh, I guess, uh, scales. So it's a qualitative as well as a quantitative bit of feedback, comprehension, originality, and content. So what we can do is I could go ahead and just provide my contribution here and say, you know, based on the uh, criteria of originality, I'll say uh, tribes is very original, good work, right? And I could pay that as a compliment or a suggestion, record my voice or attach something or even reuse an older compliment. So I can do that, post it, go back, and then let's open up originality and say, yeah, we'll put it as excellent. Now the requirements for that, I've put in as, uh, they can be put in there as well. And I could also, yeah, edit and delete my comments. Now, once I've gone ahead and done that on my peers work, right, for all the different rubric criteria and done the necessary contributions, um, what I can do is go into the video, right? I can go into the video and review my peers video itself. And once I've started that, what I can do is, again, using the same rubric criteria, assess them on different points. And then maybe perhaps uh, link that even to a certain part of the video. So I could say content looks great at the moment, good introduction, right? And that's linked to 13 seconds. And I can put that as a compliment too just as we've done with the peer review, um, the document. So let's head back and then continue. So hand in's complete. I've completed giving my peers feedback. Uh, and then there finally is to view the work and the review that has been provided on my work, at which point I can look at all my peers work. So let's have a look at the comments. So on the video, there's nothing yet, which is no problem. We can just go to the document and see, you know, what's happened. So no feedback as well. So that's, we're gonna have to wait just a little bit longer to see who reviews my work. However, my peers work, actually I can see their comments. What's been put on their comments? So I can see, hmm, okay. So student five uh, has put, you know, uh, has received this, right, given by one participant. And then there are comments here that I can also like, reply, and say, you know, can you please elaborate, right? And go ahead and just start a bit of a discussion, get a little bit of an understanding as to what's actually happening. So this is really the, the, the workflow that a student goes through is, you know, submit, give feedback, read and reflect on the received feedback. Uh, I'll jump into now a teacher's perspective to show you a little bit more. Wonderful. So now we're in a teacher's perspective in D2L for the same lab experiment peer review activity. Now, first thing we do, again, as always, go full screen, have a look at the statistics, right? See where is each student in the entire process. Now we were logged in as student one, right? So we can see we have gotten 43% so far. Uh, we've read the instructions, we've handed it in, we've given some, not all the feedback that we need to, but we've spent some time, uh, and comments and reading the feedback has yet to be completed. Um, once I'm happy with those statistics as a teacher, I can have a look and just have all the submissions there and just download them all uh, if I need to. 
And again, there's more analytics and I can actually have a look at the rubric and see you know, where are students being reviewed. So where are the received reviews in this entire process? So the comprehension, originality, right? This is the concentration of where students have been receiving their reviews. So once I'm happy with that as an instructor, I can go ahead, publish the feedback that's been received and also publish the grades, which will synchronize into the D12 gradebook. Now in the edit mode, what I can see is I can change how the assignment itself is, is uh, the collaboration options, either hand in as a group individually, review individually or within groups, and the groups from Brightspace will also synchronize. The submissions, right, document in the video, the review criteria, the rubrics are all located here, right? I can add those in. And again, I can have students rate the reviewer. I can have them write the reflection on the received feedback and even change the weighting of the grading. This is just a brief overview on the uh, peer review tool itself. Um, now, th this is very, it's designed to be very flexible so that students and teachers can or they can support a lot of different learning designs and have simple all the way up to very complex peer review uh, scenarios. So thank you for watching.